Welcome to our fun exploration of Newton's laws of motion. Ready to learn how things move and why? Let's dive in. Let's start with Newton's first law of motion, also called the law of inertia. This law says, an object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion, unless acted upon by an external force. Basically, if nothing is pushing or pulling on an object, it will just keep doing what it's already doing, whether that's staying still or moving in a straight line. Now, Newton's second law of motion explains how force, mass, and acceleration are related. The law says, the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to the force acting on it and it takes place in the direction of the force. In simple terms, Newton's second law of motion can also be stated as, the force on an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. Or, F equals ma. This means the harder you push, the faster something moves. But the heavier it is, the more force you need to move it. Finally, we have Newton's third law of motion, which states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that whenever one object exerts a force on another object, the second object exerts an equal force in the opposite direction on the first object. For example, if you push against a wall, the wall pushes back against you with the same force. Even though neither you nor the wall may move, both forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. This law explains how objects interact with one another through forces. And that's it. Newton's three laws of motion, inertia, force and acceleration, and action and reaction. Next time you see something moving or staying still, you'll know exactly why. Thanks for learning with us.